Hey guys. Well, <clears throat> I haven't made a video in quite a while. Some of you already know and some of you don't. I had complications after surgery. Um, I had a vertical sleeve. Um, I'll start at the very beginning and I'll cover all of it. I want to make several short uh, videos um, so they don't get too long. And I've written everything down so I don't mumble on. So all the way back at the beginning, this is before the surgery, um, the Optifast was disgusting towards the end. I really had a hard time. Uh, I was missing meals, which is not good because it makes you a bit weak, especially before surgery. Um, there was a bit there where I went without eating for a day and a half just because uh, every time I thought it's meal time and then I thought of the milkshake as my meal, I just went off it completely. So, um, I, and I was only on the Optifast for two weeks, so, and some people have to do it for four weeks or more. So, if you're on the Optifast diet, really try and to take every milkshake you can because it, it really does help when it comes to recovery time after the surgery. Um, but I was, I was very lucky that I was pretty much at full strength, even though towards the end I was missing a lot of meals. Uh, I was admitted on Monday the 3rd of November 2008. Uh, the surgery went perfect. Uh, my liver size was tiny, so he was able to do it to, to do the surgery well, um, and you know just had the normal the laparoscopic scars. Um, I was released on the Wednesday, so admitted Monday, released Wednesday, which is about two and a half days of rest and recovery. Since on Monday the surgery was in the morning and it finished around about you know by the time you get to recovery and then you get to your room, it's just just before lunch on Monday, so two and a half days. Uh, I was on liquids the night of the second day, so on the Tuesday night. Um, and by liquids, I mean full liquids, um, which is they give you milk and they give you custard and yogurt and things like that. So um, I wasn't really into the hospital food, which you'll find out all about later. Um, but I was able to have tea with milk, which was excellent because it wasn't allowed milk on the milkshake diet. Um, where are we are, point four. I was progressed to puree on the day that I left, which was the Wednesday. Um, so puree, like you know, days after surgery, uh, I was eating puree food fine. I was pureeing food in my mouth, which may not have been good. Um, if you have a puree machine or you have a blender, try and blend a any food that you have. Um, and don't don't think that you can chew it up enough because you have to chew up the puree enough, you know. Um, one of my favorite meals was um, KFC potato and gravy. And I remember we had that on the car ride home on a Wednesday. I was very keen to have some puree food. Um, two weeks later, not three, two weeks later, I started feeling nausea. I just woke up one day and boom, nausea. Um, I've been taking tablets ever since um, the surgery called Nexium, which uh, I believe is supposed to reduce the amount of acid in your stomach. So um, I had uh, nausea two weeks later after surgery and um, hunger began to fade on the second day of nausea and I stopped eating altogether. Um, taking the tablets was hard enough. Sometimes I would have to take a tablet twice because I would take the tablet and then drink and I would felt so nauseous that what I drank I would throw up and I would have to take the tablet again. It really was terrible and I, I sat around with it way too long. Um, because on the fifth day of nausea I had a chicken wing so this is five days of not eating or four days of not eating I ate a chicken wing and um, that was for dinner and the next day the sixth day of nausea uh, I didn't feel like eating again so my dad took me to the hospital which was several hours away from where we live and that, that was the afternoon of the sixth day of nausea and I arrived um, at night, so I left afternoon, arrived at night, walking into the hospital with my pillow and bucket. The bucket was to make sure I didn't vomit. So, um, point eight. So we got a room on the second floor. Um, I lay down on the bed and almost instantly vomited. Um, they came in, that, that sort of sped, sped things up, and they came in and they put a cannula in and um, the IV cannula and they said that uh, the nurses thought that I was dehydrated and uh, once they rehydrated me uh, I would feel a lot better which made a lot of sense because once I left hospital I wasn't drinking the 1.5 to 2 liters a day that they recommend which is kind of hard especially since my stomach 
was and still currently holds about the same amount as a golf ball. So thinking of getting 1.5 to 2 litres of water through a day plus all your puree food, that's a lot. Um, and it, it sort of made sense that you know you would feel sick and then you would get rehydrated and you would feel a lot better. Um, unfortunately, days after arriving and you know I've got the IV in for days and they've changed it because it's been in there for too long and I, I, they they finally said okay he's rehydrated but not better so let's see what we can do and um, the surgeon my surgeon um, scheduled an endoscopy which uh, to he, he, just, he had no idea what's going on so he had to check it out so this is you know the recon stages and um, on the Friday night at 6 p.m. Um, I had the endoscopy and I was out at 8.30 and I was in the room by 9.30 so it went for a couple of hours uh, for those who don't know what an endoscopy is they basically put a camera down your throat while you're unconscious and they have a look around inside your stomach and they found nothing so the endoscope came up bubkis there was nothing they could see so um, that's the end for this video so you'll have to you'll have to check out my other videos um, for those who saw my weight at the very start I've lost a lot of weight and you, you may have noticed in my face I get told quite a bit in my face and things like that um, if you haven't had the surgery or you haven't looked into um, the surgery too much the weight I lost was way too much don't expect that weight loss um, that weight loss is mostly muscle and things like that because I didn't eat for 27 days. So um, it's a lot of weight loss, but it's unhealthy weight loss. So um, thanks for watching my videos. Thank you for all the new subscribers. It's really great to have new subscribers. Um, try and share my link out towards me with all your friends and things like that. I need as many subscribers as I can because. Um, my videos are getting buried when you search for uh, weight loss or gastric sleeve or anything like that I'm on page like 904 because I haven't had many page views and I haven't had many subscribers so the more people that um, this gets out to hopefully more subscribers because it's important information for anybody who's going to have the surgery so um, again thank you for watching and I hope you tune in to my next video